yeah yesterday i had a longer hair and tomorrow i have as well got a haircut i love it hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do the last episode for the shopping house dash series that i'm doing with paula and mercedes it's a little bit of sweet but me and paula we agreed that one and a half year is more than enough for this project we didn't really feel like doing this anymore we thought we would just end it now when we are feeling good and not extremely tired or we feel it's like a chore to do the videos anymore but we we are loud that is a big word mercedes she asked if she could uh, continue this project um or this series on her channel because it's quite popular which is fair enough it is on our channels as well but she really wanted to do this more. She has only done it in like a half year. And we, me and Paula, we have done it in one and a half. So of course it was okay with me and Paula that she continued. So she is still doing the videos. So if you want to watch this series still, you can uh, jump over to Mercedes channel. So we agreed uh, on the last color <laughs> as a collab for this project. Um, and that is duochromes. I was actually really curious about how many I had in my collection because it's not something that I'm buying all the time, but I'm I'm definitely drawn to it. So I have here four palettes and three pigments and then like a cream shadow topper thing. Um, so like eight products in total. I actually think there's one palette that has two um, in it. But we will see and we will swatch my collection for you guys. I'm really excited to see the products on my hand. They at least have a shift to them. So let's just jump into it and then we can see what colors I gravitate towards for duochromes. Check out Polo and Mercedes if you haven't already. And let's just jump into the episode. So I'm going to start off with the cream shadow thing. I don't know what to call it. It's from BS Cosmetics and it's called Eye Lights. And this color is called Galpal. Galpal. It's a waterproof eye color. I was really drawn to this shade because it's like an orange. I have no idea if you can see the duochrome thing shift to the product. Um, I can definitely see the shift. This. But let's see how it is on my hand in one angle it's like a dark orange and at another angle it's like a gold here it is yeah there you can see it it's so stunning i love it so much but i haven't used it near enough i do i even have i don't know if i have even tried it on my eyes i don't know it's stunning nonetheless. My three pigments I have here are from Blush Trap and you may know I have talked uh, quite a bit uh, about it on my channel. The Blush Trap is no longer existing um, as a brand at least. You can't get these anymore. I think the last one that I have gotten with the new packaging um, that was that was on sale because he was closing. The other two are in like this diamond shaped um, container. So the first one that I have here is called a genie. And again, it's a loose pigment. And I will swatch it for you guys. It's like a blue red pigment. Did you even look into the jar? I don't think you did. Can you see the blue? Thing, shift maybe even pink it's very glittery um, it doesn't really have a base kind of um, there you can see some green blue shift and then there are some red into it as well the next one is called cave of wonders and I do have this in once upon a time project I adore this pigment so much it's so beautiful so this is like a yellow gold with some shifts to it there's some green shift in it i have no idea if you can 
see it or if the camera picks up. I don't know if you can see it, but here they are. And the last pigment that I have is called Riley. And it is the newer packaging. This is like a reddish, bluish. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think you can see the blue, like red base and then bluish purple. I see purple and blue. I don't know what you see. But these are the four colors so far. So let's go on to the palettes. I don't know about this, but this is the first one that I thought of. Um, one of the first, actually. It is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice palette. And I thought about Hot Toddy. I do think I swatched this with the Cranberries video that we did. But if I remember correctly, yeah, there's like a dual chromey shift to it. So it has like a cranberry undertone, but then it has a gold shift. Here you are. I don't know if it catches. Hopefully you can see what I see. I see some gold in it, but I don't know if you can see it on camera. There. There you are. <laughs> then we have W7 on the Rugs palette, which is also subculture in the 8BH world, if you have that. Um, this is a palette and I'm going to swatch this white-ish shade. It's called Sugar Rim in this palette. It's a white base, but it has like a pink shift. You can like use this shade to transform the palette, which I think is really cool. Doesn't look like much, but on the eyes in, in the corner, it is beautiful. W7 Enchanted palette. And I'm going to at least swatch captivated this shade right there that is definitely dual chrome um, and I do think I'm going to swatch I'm going to swatch ecstasy maybe ecstasy this one right there it's kind of like sugar rim so this is the white what was it called ecstasy 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 I don't know it looks like a pale white in the palette but it's actually like a goldish color and then we have this pink purple blue thing these two the last shade that I'm going to swatch for you guys is from my BSQ Cosmetics weekend festival palette this is what it is looking like this was a limited edition and I'm going to swatch Solstice this shade right there um, I don't know how much of a duochrome this is, but I, th I think it has like a pink shift. It's not the most duochrome ever shade, but like I've said, for the last one and a half year, we're shopping our stash. It doesn't need to be perfect. We're just exploring and realizing what we have and what we don't need any more of. And um, I can definitely say that I don't need any more warm tones for dual chrome shade so if i need more i don't um it should be like a green or blue shift dual chrome so that is the one right there i don't know if you can see the pink gold in it i don't know let me zoom you guys in so you can see the whole hand it's like a green brown this one really beautiful I'm really happy about these shadows, so nine, nine is not bad. It's not amazing either, but it's, it's good. It's good enough for me. <laughs> I'm happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more Drew Chromes, head over to Polar and Mercedes channels. They will be listed down below as always and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited to see how many duochromes they have in their collection. I'm pretty sure they have more amazing duochromes than I do. Um, you can you can discuss if 
This is dual combs or not, but these are the ones that I could find that was the closest at least. And we thought dual chromes was like a fun way to end this series for us at least. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. We have loved doing it, but it's just, it's time uh, to let it go. Um, it's time for a break. It's time to move on to other things. And I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys um, are going to stick around anyway on my channel. I do a lot of project pans. I am panning some of these, so that is at least something. I actually only think I'm panning one of them, but that doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoy it, and until my next one, please take care, and I will see you guys soon.